Yesterday, while I was supposed to be working, I was scrolling through Twitter and I came across this tweet from Riley Goodside that demonstrated some functionality that I've never used in Python before. And this is called an IIFE. And IIFE stands for Immediately Invoked Function Expression. So what does that mean and how does that work in Python? Is it even worth using in Python? Let's find out in this video. So for this example, I'm going to import from date time, the date time, just to make my function a bit more interesting. Then we're going to define a decorator. And this is the part I actually found very interesting. And that is that, of course, you can use a lambda here to create a simple decorator. And this lambda is going to execute the function immediately. As soon as we create that function, it's going to execute it. So then we have this function here, which for some reason returns a string. And we're going to create some time text, which is going to be of type string. And it's going to return to us that this function started at datetime.now. And we will format that nicely with hours, minutes, and seconds. And we will return the time text. And we will also print this time text. So now, as soon as we run the script, you'll notice that it's going to print to the console the time that this script started or that this function started. And we didn't have to call it anywhere. It was an immediately invoked function expression. And I thought that was quite cool because now anywhere in your program, you can refer to the function name and you can use it as a variable. It doesn't matter when you use this variable. It was used once and it returned a result. Now we can never call this function again we just got the result that one time. Now I want to say that in Python, the syntax might look a bit ugly and I'm absolutely with you on that. But is there any reason to actually use this in Python? And I personally have never seen it used and don't think I ever will see it used. But it is something quite common in JavaScript because apparently it prevents pollution of the global JavaScript scope. In Python, we do things a bit differently. So we don't really have a use for this but I still find it quite cool that you can just define a function and you can give it a return value. Then you can print something and you can perform some calculation and you can return whatever you want and it will execute as soon as your script arrives to this block of code. We don't need to execute anything, so that's pretty cool because again, now we don't even need to use this print function. We just have a block of code in our script that executes itself. Although as a downside, since we are not used to seeing this in Python, if anyone else has to read our complicated script and has to debug it, there's a huge chance they're going to have a hard time finding this because I absolutely didn't know about this. I haven't seen this in my entire life, but I still found it interesting nonetheless. So let me know what you think about this, whether you use something similar to this or whether you think it even makes sense to use this in Python. I would love to hear about that in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. And with all that being said, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.